What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to talk about pickling and unpickling data. So what pickling is, is taking your Python object like your dictionary, your list, things like that and saving it to a serialized file format. So then when you're ready at a later time you can unpickle it and quickly get your Python object back. So it's very useful when you're working with data that you get that's not quite in an ideal format. So typically what you'll do is you'll get your data, you'll unzip it, you'll clean it up, you'll parse it and all that stuff to get it to your final form like a Python dictionary and so on. And then you'll save it to a pickle file so then you can later read it, get your Python object back and do your analysis. So we're going to talk about that in this video. So let's get started. So before we begin, I'd like to point out this warning that's on the Pickle webpage, and that's that Pickle module is not secure against erroneous or malicious constructed data. So what this means is someone could pickle something like a virus, and if you were to unpickle that file, you're vulnerable to an attack. So the guide is to never unpickle data received from an untrusted or unauthenticated source. So basically only unpickle data that you've generated or you're sure that that data was generated safely. Never unpickle data that you do not know the source of it. So with that out of the way, let's jump over to the new notebook and see how this module works. So the first thing we're going to do is import pickle. And because we need some random data, I'm just going to import numpy as np. And then um, let's create a dictionary. So we'll call it data, data dict, and we'll give it some random data. So the first thing we'll call it volts, and we'll just use np dot random dot random, and let's give it just ten points. And then we'll call the other column current, and again we'll use a random data and again 10 points oops and I spelled pickle wrong and then just to see what this looks like let's run it and you can see that it's just a dictionary with two columns with numpy arrays with random data cool so what we're gonna do now is we're going to pickle our data dict so the way we do that is we're going to use the with statement. So typically when you open a file, you would say my file is equal to open, specify the file name and how you're going to write to it. And then you'll say like my file dot write some data to it and then my file dot close. So that's the traditional way of working with files, but the more Pythonic way is to use the with statement. The advantage of using with statement is it handles that open and closing automatically. So it's just a cleaner and more Pythonic way of working with files and writing to files. So, so the way we do that is we say with, and then we say open, and then we need to give it a file name. So I'm just gonna call it um, data pick, and then the file extension we'll use is pkl. Then we specify how we're going to write to it. So we'll say WB and the W means write and the B means binary. So, and then the next thing we do is we specify the object. So we'll say as, and then we'll say, um, we'll say pickle file. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write the data to our new file. So the way we do that, as so we say pickle.dump and then what we specify first is the data itself so we'll say data dict and then we specify the file object so pickle file cool so now when we run this it creates that data pick.pkl file with our data dict information in there so if i come to my directory you can see this is the file it created data underscore pick dot pkl. So we've saved data to it. Now let's read data from it. So 
It's pretty similar setup. We're gonna use the with statement again. So we'll say with open, and then we just specify the file name. So data underscore pick dot pkl. And then we say how we're gonna use this file. So now we're gonna say R for read and B for binary. And then we just give it an object name. So we can just call it the same thing, pickle file. And now what we'll do is we're gonna, in order to unpickle it, we specify the object name that we wanna give it. So I'm just gonna call it new data. And then it's gonna be equal to pickle.load. So now we're just gonna load from our file. So we specify this thing here, the file object name. And that's it. That's all we need to do. And we've now we have an object with our data in it. So if I were to run this, you can see we get our dictionary back. Just um, a two column dictionary with a bunch of random data in a NumPy array. So that's it, it's pretty simple. Why you would use this again in order to like, for example, if you are reading some data from like some source like online and you need to clean up the data, unpack the data, all that effort that it takes can be CPU intensive and time intensive. So you don't want to do it twice. So once you've cleaned up your data, it's a good idea to pickle it so that you can use it like down the road later on. So that's pickling. In the next one, we'll talk more about file structures and then we'll probably move into pandas. So yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a like. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. See you guys.